Hi guys and welcome to another quick Lightroom tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys a quick and easy method how to add some keywords while importing your images and also afterwards adding some more. Alright so let's get started with that. First of all we are in the library module at the moment so let's go down here and hit import and I want to basically just import a few images that I shot a few days ago from Cape Town. Okay, so over here under my Macintosh HD, I just want to find my desktop. So I'm going to search for my desktop now and also find these folders over here. Okay, and in the private shot in here, I have a few images from Cape Town. Okay, so as you guys can see, all of these images are now tagged and selected and I can hit basically import and import them now. But before we importing these images, first of all, what I want to do is on the right hand side, add some keywords under apply during this import. Over here, there's a few more things you can do, but more of that in my course that I've created, but more of that to the end of this tutorial. Okay, so let's go over to keywords again and under keywords, I can very easily add some more keywords now and tag these keywords to these images. So over here, let's write Cape Town and I'm going to write C and directly Lightroom gives me already a preset saying here's Cape Town already so I can select Cape Town already then place a comma which is very important spacebar again and now you can tag another word to these images so add another keyword so I'm going to write C again and it's giving me city so over here I want to add city as well then as well a comma again spacebar I can see some towers over here and some lines head and mountains so I'm going to add towers if I'm going to write TO it's going to give me towers there so I'm going to select towers and also comma spacebar again. I want to add mountain to this. Okay, over here, select mountain, comma and spacebar. And I want to add lion's head as well. So over here, it's going to give me lion's head as well. The reason why I'm also getting these presets is because I've added these names before. So once you add a name before, Lightroom will also give you a quick hint and you can just select that name and it will go quicker a little bit. Okay, so now we're ready. We tagged everything with our keywords. So let's go over and hit import and import these images. So over hit import and directly Lightroom will import them into our library module and into our catalog that we've selected. So now all our images are in. We can go over to the develop mode, map mode or whatever, do whatever with our images and say after a while you thought, oh damn, I wanted to add some more keywords. Now you can basically do that while you are in the library module as well. So if you forgot a certain keyword, you can always go over here to the right hand side under keywording and you can tip keywording and in here you will have all your keywords again. So just a small quick reminder, you have to select your images first before you add any tags or keywords because otherwise those tags won't be added to your images. So say for instance over here, if I'm going to select this image now, and make this a little bit bigger we can see now that we have the towers in here lion's head and also the mountain some streets some cars and houses and so on etc etc so over here on the right hand side i've added now cape town city lion's head mountain and towers but i'm still missing street cars and so on and maybe skyline so i can very easily add those again i can first of all click here to add more keywords so i can type that into here and Lightroom will pretty much remember these tags or I can go down here use some of the keyword suggestions that Lightroom gives me already some houses fun shoot and couple that was from some other keywords that I've used over the time or down here I can add some keyword sets and add my own presets to these keywords which I basically want to do now so over here let's go to key set and just select custom and in here we're going to go all the way down to edit set so select edit set and in here we will be brought to a complete new window where we can add our custom keywords. So over here we've got tower, mountain, houses, lion set and I want to basically add now night because we had some night shots in here. Press enter. Okay that accepted that already so let's go back into custom, edit set and let's go to the next stage and we're going to write cars. I want to add cars also the next window, maybe skyline, select that. And last of all, street. Okay, then we're going to hit change over here and that has been accepted or you can hit enter and that will be accepted. So down here we have a few new words now and our keyword set as you can see, night, cars, skyline and street. So I want to add the street keyword to this image and very simply I can just hit on street and directly over here you will see that this keyword has been applied as well. 
and also I want to add night because it's kind of going towards night so we added night over here and let's go back to our full grid view and over here under these images I want to add skyline so let's see that we got a skyline of Cape Town a little bit and I also want to add night so very simple again I can just go over here to my keyword set again press night over here so it was added skyline so that was added so I can add more and more keywords to my images okay then we can also go through a little bit more and we can say again this one and we just have lines head in here so let's just tag lines head that is tagged already okay let's tag night to this as well and we're basically good to go okay so minimize keywords again and we're going to go back to our full screen or our grid mode over here and we are still in our library module okay so now we've added keywords and we're good to go everything is tagged and we're ready but why are we actually doing this say for instance now if you have over thousand images in your catalogs and you need to quickly find certain images with say your clients images and or a weddings images and you tag those images with a certain name or you want to find certain images where you have some locations from forest mountains or you have day or night shots and you tagged all your images with keywords and done it properly from the start then you can very easily go over here to text and in here you can find your images very quickly so you don't need to go through all your catalogs to find your images you can just go to text and in here right under the search bar say for instance if I'm just gonna write night press enter it's going to just show me all my images that have been tagged with keywords from night so over here you can see now these two images we've just tagged them and now I can really quickly find my images let's try another one if we go over here and write skyline and we just have one image with skyline so just another technique there to find your images really really quickly if you need to speed up your workflow and get things done quickly okay guys so that's basically it for this week's quick Lightroom tutorial if you guys are interested in learning more about Lightroom 4 and also the complete program please be sure to check out my complete Lightroom 4 course which is up on Udemy called the ultimate Lightroom 4 course